Hello from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. For travelers fascinated by megacities, there is no better place to visit than China. With a population of 1.3 billion people and rising, the country, unsurprisingly, boasts the world's highest number of megacities. So what qualifies as a megacity? Most commonly, it's defined as an urban city of 10 million or more inhabitants. According to the United Nations data booklet, China has at least 10 of the world's 33 megacities. The largest megacity to date is Chongqing. It spans 82,300 square kilometers and has over 30 million inhabitants. To put that into perspective, Canada has a population of roughly 36 million people and Austria comprises an area of 83,000 kilometers. Visitors love this city as it was named the world's fastest growing tourist destination in 2019. The megacity boasts what is being dubbed an engineering marvel, the highly anticipated Raffles City Complex. In total, the Raffles City Complex cost over $3.8 billion to build and consists of eight skyscrapers measuring a staggering 1.1 million square meters and sits on 22 acres at the junction of the Yangtze and Jialing rivers. It will include a 230 square foot, 450 store shopping mall, 1,400 residential apartments, a luxury hotel, and 100,600 square feet of office space. But without question, the engineering marvel of this complex is a gigantic glass tube skyway, longer than three times the height of the Statue of Liberty, that sits atop four of the eight buildings in the complex and houses gardens, restaurants, an event center, a clubhouse, an infinity swimming pool, and hotel. The floor is made entirely of glass, so if you are afraid of heights, this might not be the place for you. The Skyway is called the Crystal and will set the record as being the highest skyway in the world, connecting the highest number of towers. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.